Actually supporting the uh, the foreign investment, not both, not putting uh, obstacles facing them. Yes. yes. Dr. Taha Ali, Professor of Political Science, would like to thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you, our welcome. Let's move uh, to this short break and returning back. In a message to the whole world that Egypt is the land of security and safety, the Run for Water is an initiative by the Australian lawyer and global leader, Mina Juli, as aiming to raising awareness and provide solution that effectively contribute solving the crisis global security. I'm really excited to be here. It's part of my um, project to run 40 marathons in 40 days down six rivers on six continents to raise awareness about water. And I chose Egypt because it is the home of one of the longest rivers in the world. It's a river, the River Nile goes through multiple different countries. So there are many issues around transboundary cooperation that I wanted to start to explore and understand. But even more importantly, the world's irrigation started right here in the Nile Delta, and I wanted to see and understand that and talk to farmers and see and just appreciate how we are linked to teaming the world's water through the work that's been done in Egypt. Right now, I'm in the middle of running 40 marathons in 40 days down six rivers on six continents, and I'm doing it for one reason, which is to raise awareness about the global water crisis. So for now, the thing that I'm really pleased about is that I've done 33 marathons out of 40, so I only have seven left to go. But the thing that I still have left to do is to solve the global water crisis. That just one marathon or two marathons or 40 marathons in my case is one only one step forward to reaching a solution to what is the biggest challenge facing our society right now. Julie, the founder of Thirst Organization and a member in the World Economic Forum, focused on the six UN goals which urge the world to ensure water availability for everyone. Very big thank you to the people of Egypt um, and particularly the, all of the people who gave me so much support over the last couple of days. I've got to tell you, um, I had some of my hardest moments here in Egypt. I've had a lot of pain, a lot of injuries here that I've carried with me from the other rivers that I've run through. So I had some very low moments here while I was in, in Egypt, emotionally challenging. And the, one of the things that got me through those very difficult moments was the people of Egypt, the love, the care, the support, the women who would come out and tell me, keep going, keep going. Um, the young girls that would run beside me, to all of you, to everyone, thank you, thank you for the welcome that you've given me. I couldn't have done this without you. Well, welcome back, and we're continuing 